Yeah. All right, guys, workout three. Uh, uh, one number three, same as the first. Time cap. Eight minutes. Uh, we are going to start, so it's going to be for time, obviously. Not sure exactly what to call these. We're going to call these 20 dumbbell box passovers. Uh, box 24 for the men, 20 for the ladies. Uh, dumbbells, maybe 50. So, 20 passovers, 50 kettlebell swings, it's going to be 70 for the men, 53 for the ladies, so two food, one and a half, and then we're going to finish three movements, 100 double unders. Eight minute time cap. Let's go over uh, movements here quickly. You guys are not uh, adding, adding some uh, audio to the background here. All right, guys, so dumbbells. Three, two, one, go. Dumbbells are on the floor. Pick them up. You have to get over the box to the other side. However you want. That would be one. All right, a rep is one when both feet make contact on the other side of the box. Um, I think we're going with a pretty much a step over here. If you wanted to jump on the box, you could, or jump over the box, that's fine. But I think most people are going to step up and over. All right. So over again, you can turn on the box like Annie just did, or she can step all the way over and then turn around. Either is fine. All right. Uh, range of motion standard: no stand up or anything on top of the box. Just get over the box. Uh, you cannot rest if you decide to break, say, the reps. You cannot rest the dumbbells on the box. You're going to put the dumbbells down, they're going to put down on the ground. If at any time when you pass over the box, you nick the dumbbell on the box, all right, you can go back to the start. All right, so if the dumbbell makes any contact with the box, you don't rep, you guys need to repeat. All right, so it's 20, each pass over is one. All right, uh, from there we're going to come over. Swings, 50 swings. Nothing crazy here, guys. We're not uh, crazy movements, we're not looking for any crazy range of motion. We're looking for more or less a vertical bell at the top. All right, if it's got a little five, 10 degrees in it, that's fine. But any real droopy stuff, all right, that is no, no good. All right, if you guys are push pulling or pull pushing rather, you need to hit that lockout at the top. You can't just have it overhead and not locked out. All right, so we need to see locked out elbow. All right, um, again, just like an overhead movement with a bar. Nice uh, knees, hips, everything in extension, all right? Uh, bottom range of motion, just do two or three more here. Uh, bottom range of motion, we'll just say the bell has to pass between the legs, all right? It doesn't have to pass behind, but it has to, to see the bell come into the legs, all right? Uh, that's a swing, nothing crazy there. And then lastly, uh, 100 double unders. Uh, Self-explanatory, jump twice every, jump, uh, Jump once, two, two spins of the rope every time. Right? If you nick, obviously that rep does not count, and you pick up uh, one behind. All right, that's workout number three. Post if you have any comments or questions.